This is my boy Jorge Jaquis Dayton. He was a handsome young male, white hair, brown eyes, and flushless lips. George Danton was born on October 26, 1759, in Arces, Sir Aube, France. Jorge Danton was the son of Jaquais Danton, an attorney, and Jaquais's second wife, Marie Madeline Camus. Now, folks, Jorge Jaquais Danton, at a very early age, was interested in the law. Later becoming, in his early adulthood, a loyal, highly respected, very wealthy lawyer. He bought the office of advocate in Paris. In 1789, Jorge's enrolled the, in the Civic Guard of the Cordeliers District. After Jorge's was in lovely Paris for quite some time, he met and married his lovely wife, Antoinette Charpentier, which later they both had three mystical sons. After taking refuge in London, Danton returned to Paris to take part in the Legislative Assembly. During the spring of 1792, war was declared on Austria, and Danton resumed his role as the Tribune of the People. On June 18th, he attacked Marquise de Lafayette, who was an advisor to the King and General, because Lafayette used his position to play politics. Danton informed revolutionary radicals that their role was ended on December 1st, 1793. Danton was warned several times by the government, but he did not back down and said, They will not dare. But finally, on the night of March 29th, 1794, he and his friends got arrested. Danton spoke what he had on his mind when he was in front of the Revolutionary Tribunal. But the convention said that a suspect on trial who had insulted national justice should be excluded from the debate. Then Danton said, I will no longer defend myself. Let me be led to death. I shall go to sleep in glory. And on April 5th, 1794, Danton was executed by a guillotine with some of his friends that were also arrested. Show my head to the people, Danton said to the executioner. It is worth seeing. On March 17, 1794, the government lost its patience. Herbert and the principal Cordelier's leaders were arrested, sentenced to death, and were executed on March 24th.